What is the point with us doing anything with carbon reduction when China are over there producing tons of CO2, way more than we ever produced? Well, that's what we're looking at today, and the results might surprise you. In 2020, China emitted 11,680.42 metric tonnes of CO2 into the Earth's atmosphere. The UK emitted 313.75 metric tonnes into the atmosphere. Obviously, that's quite some difference. There is another thing we need to factor in here, though, and that's quite clearly population. China have 1.4 billion people, and the UK has 67 million. In 2020, the UK emitted 4.6 metric tonnes per capita of CO2. China emitted 8.2 metric tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If you take a look here, you'll see the historical graph of where we've kind of been floating around. And you'll see that, yeah, China is worse than the UK, definitely. And there's a bit of an upward trend towards the end there, especially as they're ramping up the world's manufacturing. So they're twice as bad as us by the seams of things. Uh, let's put that more into perspective. Let's look at another country like the US. Let's see what they produce. 13.7 metric tonnes of CO2 per capita. We're getting near on for double per person there. And if you take a look at Canada and Australia, with 14.4 and 15.2 metric tonnes respectively, actually, China doesn't really seem that bad. The reason they have such a high total output is just because they have way more population than any of the other countries mentioned, even combined. In fact, if you add up the UK, Canada, Australia and the US, there's only 459 million people in those countries. China has 1,400 million people, nearly three times as much. So now factor in that they produce the world's stuff and everyone uses them as a manufacturing center. Actually, if we think about this and spin it on our heads, imagine all these countries manufactured their own stuff and China stopped. I think China would probably become lowest on this table and the other countries would shoot right up. So are they really that bad? Well, the last little uptick is worrying, but take a look at this graph. The first graph is total cumulative solar PV installations. Remember, they manufacture nearly all of these in China, so there's no transport costs or CO2 footprint from that perspective. They are on a much faster upward trend for renewable energy from PV than us. Yes, they are building some coal and power to support that, Obviously, renewables aren't that stable at the moment, but let's look what else they're doing. This next graph is their wind production, which they're going nuts on. The UK are kind of slowly increasing. The US are moving to wind in a big way, it seems. China, however, are going stratospheric with it. We don't yet have the data for 21 and 22, but it's highly unlikely that this spike is gonna flatline all of a sudden. It looks like they're making a massive transition. If you look at these renewable installation figures per capita, China are still kind of lagging behind, however, change is clearly ahead. But this is completely overshadowed by the carbon output from the likes of USA, Australia and Canada. So next time we point the blame towards China to not do anything, maybe look a little bit further west. That's all guys, make sure you hit subscribe, click on the like and I'll see you in the next one.